All right, it's now time to understand how cloud works with some demos. And this time I'm going to show you the demos with Amazon Web Services as the cloud platform, which is also happens to be the first public cloud platform. So here's what I'm going to show you here. So first of all, I will show you how to create a virtual private cloud on top of a public cloud. So this is a completely isolated environment. This box is completely yours. Anything which goes in and out of that, you can completely control that. And that's what you call as virtual private cloud. And you create a VPC or virtual private cloud in one of the regions. So we're going to pick one of the regions and create the VPC inside that. Now, once you create the virtual private cloud, you can also define what goes in and out of that. So you can actually create the firewall rules for this as well. And that's where you could create something called as security groups. So security groups allow you to define and then you can also define at the network level. So security groups can be defined or assigned to a particular server. And on top of that, you can also define network ACLs. A network ACL is com you know controls what goes in and out of your network. So I'm gonna show you creating a VPC and inside that VPC, or that VPC will span across that across multiple availability zones, which are nothing but data centers. So this VPC would span across two availability zones. Availability zones, let's say AZ1 and AZ2. Each of this availability zone itself is a separate isolated data center in itself, but they are connected with high speed links and they're part of the same region. Once virtual private cloud is set up, the next thing that I'm going to show you is how do you launch instances, EC2 instances, that is EC2 instances and nothing but the servers that you would run inside this VPC. And um, um, later, we would also connect this server with a database and this server would be launching a WordPress application, which would connect to a database. This database will then be launched using a managed service from AWS called as RDS. And this can be high available, can have a replica in another availability zone, and then you can later on launch servers here and connect them as well. And that's what we do next. So next thing I show you is how do you launch multiple servers? And only in that, you maintain these multiple servers, uh, scale them automatically, the scaling availability, um, everything will be managed through something called as auto scaling groups so that you can dynamically scale this capacity based on the load that you have as well as maintain the fleet. So one of this goes down, another server replaces this. And finally, you could also set up a load balancer. Load balancer is typically publicly available and then that can balance across the servers that you have. And finally, after setting this up manually, I'll also show you how to automatically do that using some code using something called as cloud formation. And with cloud formation, this infrastructure can automatically be built uh, with a click of a button and maybe few parameters or inputs. And that's just fantastic. That's part of sort of a infrastructure as a code, but it's related to cloud. So I'm going to show you the demos with all of this infrastructure being set up in the order that I just mentioned. So let's get started with the demo.